So good stuff, uh, P5 out there in race one. Uh, a bit of a chaotic race out there with the safety car and critically you beat Gabriel still out there for the rookie championship. Yeah, no, it was, uh, it was a fun race for sure. Um, we had good speed, uh, made a good start. Got up, it was someone stole in front of me. So uh, yeah, we made up some positions in the first few corners. Um, and that was really crucial because around this place you can't really do anything in the race. So yeah, no, really good, uh, good race. P1 rookie as well, still I think dropped down. So um, yeah, no, good points. And uh, yeah, we're looking to, to now win the championship tomorrow. And how do you manage that situation at start when people are stalling in front of you and just you're trying to keep out of trouble but still make places? Yeah, I mean, it's really tricky. Obviously, when the lights go out, you just want to get going. But uh, yeah, the guy in front of me, we're standing still. So I had to, to avoid him. Obviously, everything happened so quick. But yeah, I was lucky enough to be able to turn around him, basically. And uh, yeah, um, still managed to get away quite good. So uh, yeah, it's, it's quite hard, but uh, it worked out this time. And what was it like after the start? Just uh, you know, settling into a rhythm and just trying to force the guy in front into a mistake because it's so hard to pass. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the dirty area does it mostly important. Like you can't really do anything. Um, just stay in your position. So yeah, obviously you can try to make the guy in front make mistakes. I had uh, physique in front of me. He didn't really do any mistakes. So yeah, then the safety car came out. Was just warming the tires um, up to the good temp, and then. Uh, yeah, after that, I was just maintaining the gap because he, he wasn't doing any mistakes. Um, and I was lucky enough to be quicker than the guys behind. So, yeah, no, maintaining the gap and uh, secure the P5. So, that's good. And when the safety guard comes out, how does that change your mentality? Because, of course, you have less green flag, green flag running. Yeah, well, it depends where you are in the field, I would say. I was P5. Um, I was a bit disappointed because we had probably five seconds behind. Um, so, I could have chilled quite, quite a lot. But... Yeah, no, when it came out, it's just about uh, changing really quick and uh, getting on warm in the tires because uh, they cool off quite quick. Um, and we managed to do that quite well. And then uh, after the safety car, some debris hit us and it was quite lucky to not end the race, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it was just about maintaining the car, not doing anything stupid. And uh, yeah, we managed to do so. Was there any big damage to the car with the, the debris? Uh, yes, it's probably only a centimeter from the radiator as well so that would definitely have cost us a race but yeah some metal piece has gone straight through the side pod uh, and it's very big so I was very lucky in that race to be honest um, so it's a bit of damage on the side pod yeah and what are you expecting tomorrow because you're very close to winning the rookie championship and then there's the reverse grid and then race three as well yeah no uh, I think I'm not gonna do anything stupid really I mean we're starting p10 in the first race tomorrow uh, ahead of Silp as well so I mean, I don't really have to fight for anything. I just need to uh, to basically finish the races, and uh, that's what we're gonna do, I think. And uh, yeah, just uh, try not to make any mistakes, and uh, we should be there. And can you just say a few words in Swedish about the, the race? Yeah, bra race här. Sjuva till femma tror vi slutade i slutet nu. Etta rookie, 35 poäng ledning nu. Vi bara fem poäng i mån. Förhoppningsvis kan vi göra klart det i mån första racet. Och sen eh, var vi, hade vi tur dock att eh, det var en metallbit som fastnade i sidpodden eh, och nästan tog sönder radiatorn så hade vi kunnat förstöra vårt race men eh, vi lyckades slå oss till mål och, och nu eh, har vi bara fem poäng kvar att hämta. Tack, tack så mycket.